welcome back to another, I'm hoping, dumpster diving video. <laughs> but it is a Saturday night and there's gonna be a lot of dumpster divers out. So cross your fingers and toes that your girl finds some goodies in the dumpsters. Not that I need a ton, okay? Because let me just tell you, even with giving my mother-in-law and my best friend, Miss Beth, a ton of the items we found in the Dollar General dumpster on our last dive, my game room is still filled with cases of, of stuff. <laughs> oh my word. But a lot of it is going to go to the no-kill shelter, so it'll be out this week. So make room for some more. <laughs> Even though I literally just cleaned game room out and put everything in my office. And now there's a ton of stuff in the game room again. <laughs> my husband's just gonna have to get used to that. Like, I'll get it out eventually. You know, it just takes me a few weeks. <laughs> anyway, hi guys, how are you doing? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Shannon and I'm a dumpster diver. And I'm also a bartender. And that is where I was just at. I was at work, but we are only doing um, takeout right now because I'm in um, Pennsylvania and they closed all the restaurants for dine-in for a few weeks. So um, January 4th, which is in two days on Monday, we will be back to fully open. At least that was the original plan. Sorry for this road, guys. This is Pennsylvania roads. So I am going to get off here. Miss Beth is behind me. We are gonna head to the two towns. We're gonna hit, well, like four towns. I always say two, but it's really four. All right, peeps, we're at Big Lots. They're still open. There's stuff. I don't know what this is, but we'll take it. It's some kind of fake tree thing. I was just going to say, too bad we didn't find that earlier. Dang it, no toothpaste. That might be it. I think there's just some broken glass or something on there. Yeah, nothing good. I know. <laughs> All right, guys, we got two things. Better than nothing. All right, guys, five below, and there's stuff. I think there's stuff. Where? Are they coming? I'm gonna grab it anyway. Sorry, guys. I don't even know if there's anything in here. See if I can get the other thing without them noticing. I don't even know if this is trash. Or actually stuff. Oh, it's trash. Okay, we're good. Let's go, guys. I'm coming. I don't even know if there's anything good in that bag or not, but I seen boxes and I was like, I'm grabbing it. <laughs> and literally, right as we started pulling away, the employee or manager probably, they just got in their car and were leaving. <laughs> Thank goodness for Beth checking. All right, let's go check the go-to town and let's hope we're not getting there too late. It is 9.30. By the time we get there, it's gonna be 10, so. All right, we're at the pet dumpster. Let's see if there's anything good.
are frozen. But I got it. <laughs> Took me an hour. All right, guys, we're at Home Goods, and there's a couple things. So I'll get my grabber or my rake, something. I know, I seen that. Cool. There's right. flowers way up at the bottom. St. Nick, give him a little. Busted oh, up. he's all busted up. His face. Is that broken? No glass. That's okay, there's no glass. The flowers are like around here, I don't I'll know. I'll let you know. I'll oh. reach them. I don't have anything else next to them. Yeah, those are cute. Oh, it's broken. Oh, that's okay. I can cut those off if they need the flowers. What's up, guys? It's a different day. I never ended the video yesterday. I got a stomach ache because I ate Pizza Hut. I'm going to be honest. And it made me sick AF. Okay. <laughs> Listen, I don't know why I eat junk food, okay? I pay for it. I am almost 40. Girl, you can't eat this stuff no more. <laughs> you are not 21. I need to realize this. Somebody please help me remember this. <laughs> so, anywho, I got a bellyache like a two-year-old. And I was like, I just want to go home. <laughs> We were not having any luck. Like literally we got the two things out of Big Lots and we got the dog crate that's still in the back seat. I ain't even gonna lie because I got home and I literally went straight to bed. But we weren't finding anything. Like I've just come to the conclusion I need to find new towns and um, I need to just get out earlier. Plain and simple. I, I can't go after work. It's just not working. With the way the world is right now there are so many people dumpster diving because they have to you know what I mean like they, they have to that's how they're making a living and I don't, I don't blame them I'm not hating on them believe me I get upset when I don't find anything in the dumpster <laughs> but that's because I, I like to donate a lot of stuff and I also like to help out my co-workers so if I'm not finding anything I'm not giving them anything and I'm not giving you guys a video so you know what I'm saying a trifecta so anyway it's Sunday I just got out of work it's nine o'clock um, I'm just gonna check a few dumpsters that's it and if I don't find anything no big whoop because I'm gonna go out tomorrow early with Miss Beth so let's go check a couple dumpsters and see if we find anything well guys no luck I just checked Rite Aid, I just checked Petland, Hallmark, like dumpsters I never even normally check. I checked. Big fat zero. So, that sucks. <laughs> so, this video is going to suck, but hopefully the next one's better, right? <laughs> I mean, it was comical me trying to pull that dog crate out and I was standing on it half the time. So, I mean, I can't, I can't let that footage go to waste. <laughs> so I'm going to upload this video and I know it sucks donkey balls, but what can you do? I mean, this is the reality of diving anymore. But anywho, so Beth and I are going to go out tomorrow and hopefully our dive is better and the reveal is going to be three whole things, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> so thank you guys if you stuck around this long <laughs> if you did it I don't blame you <laughs> so I will see you guys tomorrow bye before we get into the tiniest little reveal I went to my PO box today to ship out the winner to my 20,000 subscriber giveaway cotton candy a your package is on its way dear I was like, well, let me check my P.O. box and see what's in there and wouldn't you know it more cards and two packages. This one is from another country. I don't even know what country that's from. And another package. So I'm going to open these really quick just to take up some more time in this video. <laughs> but also I like to say thank you on camera to all these people that send me gifts or cards because that is very nice of you guys to do. 
and I truly appreciate it very much. So let's jump into these cards and these gifts, and then I'll show you the tiny bit of things I got from the dumpster. Okay, first we have Kathleen Oreo. Again, you sent me another card, girl? She sent me Dumpster Fire 2020 stickers. That's awesome. I'm going to put one on my new car because the car I have is going to be getting traded in in the next week or two. We've been saving for years to do that. So it's finally time. We finally saved enough money. So thank you so much, Kathy. That sticker is definitely going on my new car. <laughs> we have Diana Witten. Thank you so much, Diana. Let's check out her card. Oh, she glitter bombed me. <laughs> Oh, I love glitter bombs. Look at all that glitter, guys. <laughs> Thought you would enjoy another glitter bomb. Diana and the Witten family. Oh my goodness, look at those cute kids. How cute. Thank you so much, Witten family. Now that is a glitter bomb, girl. I gotta give you props. This is for me, and this one is for Miss Beth from the same person. This is from Loretta Loros. Thank you so very much, Loretta, Peta, <laughs> Peta, what? Loretta, Peter, Chris, Alex, Eric, Brittany, and don't forget them fur babies, Penny and Jack. Thank you so much for the card. Also, I got a card from a few of my subscribers, including another YouTuber, Double D, helped out two of my coworkers, including one of their sons, and six of the other co-workers' grandkids. Um, my, the co-workers I'm referring to are the cooks in the kitchen. You know, they don't make tips. They work on an hourly, but they don't make a ton of money. Like this is a small bar restaurant and they go above and beyond for all of us girls out front. They always help us out. So I wanted to make their Christmas extra special this year. And I knew they were hard up for money with us not working as much, getting all of our hours cut, that includes the kitchen. And the two of them actually couldn't even get unemployment when we were out for three months. So I wanted to make sure that their kids and grandchildren had a great Christmas. And thank you to all of my subscribers that donated. I mean, you guys went above and beyond. And the 15 year old for the one cooks, his son, they actually told him where the gifts came from. And he gave me a thank you note for all of you that donated, Miss Diane, I can't remember everybody off the top of my head. Miss Patricia, Double D, and I'm missing one person. I know I am. I want to say Liz. I could be mistaken, though. So he wanted to say thank you in person to you guys, and the best way to do that was to give you a card. So thank you all so very much. They're all grateful, but David is a special kid. He is the sweetest little boy. Oh, he's like a man. He's six foot tall, 15 years old. <laughs> But he is so loving and so sweet, and he wanted to give me that card to give to you guys. So thank you all again so very much for helping make those guys and those kids Christmas amazing because you guys did just that. Okay, now on to the packages. You really taped it on there, girl. <laughs> Put your back into it, Shannon. You can do it. All right. Happy holidays. Oh, it's in a different language. I want to say this is German, but I'm not sure. Oh, it's Belgium. Oh my word. Things from Chrissy, Crystal, Crystal from Belgium. I didn't even know I had anybody watching in Belgium. This is so amazing. Thank you so much. This is crazy. I love when I find that I have viewers in other countries. That just blows my mind. Like, places I wish I could only dream of visiting. Oh my word. The girls are gonna love these. <laughs> Belgium chocolate poop emojis. Ooh, cabal mix. Cola and fruit flavors. These are like Tootsie Rolls. I am so excited for this. This must be the Belgium chocolates. Oh, guys. Oh my God. Look at how yummy. Oh, I'm diving into this. Girl. Oh. I'll eat the rest later. I don't want to chew in your faces. This one, I have no idea who it's from. So hopefully there is a note inside. There's a card. Oh, look at how cute. Socks for the girls. Ho, ho, ho. And little Santa ones. These are like the slipper socks. These are so soft. Play-Doh, all the girls are gonna love this. Caramel creams, me and Kylie's favorite. 
and my absolute favorite, my Haribo gummy bears, and two unicorn squishy keychains for the girls' book bags. Oh, these are so cute. Thank you so much. Now let's see who this is from. Oh, I got glitter bond again. You guys love to glitter bond me. <laughs> this is from Maria Stefinski. Thank you so very much, Maria. All right, let's jump into the reveal now. You guys seen, we went to not very many dumpsters on camera, but in reality, we went to a ton. Um, but then I got a huge stomach ache, guys. I was like a little baby. I was crying. I, I wasn't crying, but I was whining. I was like, I just want to go home. My stomach hurts so bad because I ate Pizza Hut. This girl needs to learn to stop eating the greasy dang food and eight pounds of gummy bears a day. And maybe my wouldn't get belly aches. <laughs> anyway, so I cut that dive short on Saturday night. Then I went out again last night by myself just to check a few dumpsters. Zero. Not a thing. But it's okay, because Beth and I are gonna go out again today and we're gonna drive until we find stuff. That's my plan, until we find stuff. <laughs> so let me show you what we got on Saturday night. So you guys see me grab this huge bag out of Five Below's dumpster and I was like, I don't even know if there's anything in it, but an employee or manager was leaving the store and they were right around the corner. So I had to be super fast. I didn't have time to look at it. I just threw it in the car. Well, don't you know. There ain't nothing in there. <laughs> and what they did have, they sliced. This was a dog harness. So that is destroyed. I'm sure you probably could fix it, but it was from Five Below. I'm not gonna waste my time. And then the only other thing I found was this suction cup cell phone holder. And it actually bends. I think I'm gonna use this for just to keep as a backup in my car in case mine ever busts. That way we have an extra one if we need it. Oh. I did get one thing out of the bag. Then we went to Big Lots and I found this in the dumpster. It's just like a Christmas tree, piece of Christmas tree decor. It says it's broken. So the only thing I can think of is there was something on the bottom of it because there's nothing broken on here. There's not a crack, there's not a chip. So this is absolutely adorable for Christmas and I will keep this for next year. So from Big Lots, we got this Sriracha kit. It has ramen, a bottle of sriracha, chopsticks that have the little, um, <laughs> the little rooster on the top. How cute is that? Then we went to Home Goods and I found this picture frame, which I thought was super cute. It is mis missing the glass, but you could still put a picture in there and it's adorable. I think the back, there is a back to it. I think it's in my trunk. So. And then I got this as well. Floral pieces are stuck in that mold, but I can cut them out with um, snips, wire snips. And then I will use these in a vase. I have tons of vases that I've gotten out of the dumpsters. And lastly, the only other thing we got was from the pet dumpster, but it is brand spanking new. That little square piece of paper in the center, that is the tag, guys. And this one is a big mamma jamma. So I will absolutely be able to sell this, no problem, on Facebook Marketplace which is what I do with like large items that I can't ship out for like a super cheap price to subscribers because it would cost a normal like to ship this. So in order to make a little bit of money back for gas and car repairs, I always try to sell like the big ticket items. Also got the tray that goes in the bottom. So we got that as well. And it took me 35 minutes to pull that out of the dumpster because my fat butt kept standing on the other end and I didn't know. <laughs> I'm like, what is this stuck on? And Beth was like, um, Shannon, uh, I'm pretty sure you're standing on it. <laughs> I was, I was standing on it. Oh, well, I got it. That's all that counts. So that is it, guys. That is everything I got. I know it is so absolutely sad, but like I say, it's better than nothing. So I'll take it. But that is gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for the cards. Thank you guys so much for the gifts. That was amazingly thoughtful of all of you. I will see you guys later on tonight because Beth and I are gonna be going out again. I, of course, will talk to you all in those comments down below. And until next time, happy diving. Bye guys. <laughs>